everyone and welcome back to DepEd TV. I am Mam Con, your grade 7 science teacher, and I am here to help you be Psy Connected. How are you today? Hope you're all doing well. Come and join me. Let's discover the wonders of science. Before we start, make sure you have your pen, paper, and self-learning module. Last time, we have talked about the tool that may help us identify elements easier. That is the periodic table. The periodic table will help us determine the symbol, group, period, atomic number, atomic mass, and the uses of each element. Let's practice. What is the symbol for the element copper? Great job! It's capital C and small letter U. What about its group number? Very good! It belongs to group number 11. What about its period? You got it right! Because copper belongs to period 4. Well then, I congratulate you! Job well done! Here are the learning objectives for today's lesson. Number 1. Determine the properties of elements and compounds. Number 2. Identify elements and compounds from food product labels. Number three, appreciate that elements and compounds are essential for living. Let's try to answer some questions. So, prepare your pen and your paper. Just read the questions that will be flashed on the screen and write the letter of your answer. Are you ready? Let's start! Which of the following is not an example of a compound? A. Gunpowder B. Salt C. Smoke from cars D. Oxygen Alright! Gunpowder, salt, and smoke from cars are all examples of compound except for oxygen, which is an element. The correct answer is letter D. Number 2. Which of the following is not a group of elements? A. Metal B. Non-metal C. Mixtures D. Metalloid The group of elements among the choices are metals, non-metals, and metalloids. Mixture is not a group of element, and the right answer is letter C. Number 3. When carbon and oxygen are combined through chemical process, they will end up producing blank. A. Element B. Compound C. Metal D. Mixture When carbon and oxygen are combined through a chemical process, they will end up producing a compound. Hope you got it right! The answer is letter B. Number 4. Which is not an example of an element? A. Iron B. Gold C. Hydrogen D. Salt Iron, gold, and hydrogen are all examples of elements except for salt. The right answer is letter D. Number 5. What substance is composed of only one kind of atom? A. Element B. Compound C. Substance D. Mixture As mentioned in our past episode, 
element is composed of only one kind of atom. Congratulations! The answer is letter A. How's the drill? I hope that everything was understood about the characteristic of an element and a compound. Now, we will be visiting a science laboratory. Have you been in a science laboratory before? Great! Everything in our laboratory is a chaos. I would like to ask some help from you regarding the situation in our science laboratory. To help me on this matter, please read and analyze the poem to be flashed on the screen to let me organize the things in the laboratory. Let's get started! Mr. Puri's Lab by Leia Joy de Sam Parado. Inside the lab, I always do a great job. Everything is in the right corner and always in order. I never mix one that is different from the other. As you enter the room, all is perfect, not a single clutter. A red cabinet can be seen on the other side of the corner, where another pure substance, a compound, is placed in there. It can be broken down into simple types of matter, composed of atoms of elements, two or more bonded together. It has unique properties different from its individual origins. Chlorine, a poisonous gas when combined to sodium. A shiny metal turned into table salt, which in cooking food is very fundamental. Now, everything is a mess. Elements and compounds are all over the places. Can you help me sort them out? And organize all of them without any doubt. I am iron, made of a single atom. Where do I belong? Is it in the blue cabinet or somewhere between rust? salt and alcohol i am water made of hydrogen and oxygen they say i am compound if you agree in the red cabinet is where i should be you just made a good job an apprentice i never had always bear in mind there are two types of substance inside my lab the simplest matter is the element and a compound that can be broken down into its components. With the help of that poem, help me fix the science lab by answering some guide questions. You may write your answers on your paper. What are the two substances mentioned in the poem? Very good! The substances mentioned in the poem are elements and compounds. What are the properties of elements mentioned in the poem? Good job! The property of elements mentioned in the poem is that elements are made up of a single atom. Next question. What are the properties of compounds mentioned in the poem? For this question, there are two possible answers. First is, compounds can be broken down into simple types of matter. Second, compounds are composed of atoms of two or more elements that are bonded together. Elements are chlorine, sodium, iron, hydrogen, and oxygen. What about the compounds mentioned in the poem? The compounds from the poem are table salt, rust, salt, alcohol, and water. Congratulations! You did a great job! Elements and compounds have different sets of properties. Elements are somehow like people who prefer to be alone. Elements are composed of only one type of atom with the same properties. Compounds are somewhat like celebrities who prefer to be with their fans. Compounds are made up of elements that are combined chemically and composed of two or more elements. Elements and compounds are distinguished in different sets of properties. Like these figures, 
Elements are pure chemical substances made of the same type of atom. Compound contains atoms of different elements that are chemically combined. Now, let's make it clear. Which is which? Prepare your pen, your paper, and be a keen observer. In the given pictures, which are the elements and the compounds? Write your answers in your paper. Let's see the first picture. Does it describe an element or compound? The first picture shows an element. You are correct if your answer is element. What about the second picture? It showed that it has two different types of atoms. And you got it right if your answer is compound. Now, let's move on to the third picture. Does it show an element or a compound? It shows two different types of atoms. You are a keen observer if your answer is compound. What about the fourth picture? Amazing! You are correct. It shows an element because it shows only one type of atom. Now, let's identify the fifth picture. Does it show that it is an element or a compound? Excellent! It is also an element because it shows only one type of atom. I congratulate you! You did a great job! Let's see how well you understood today's lesson. Let us answer the assessment questions. Prepare your pen and your paper. Are you ready? Let's start! Number 1. Which of the following substances are composed of one type of atom? A. Chemical formula B. Compound C. Element D. Mixture Number 2 Which of the following substances are composed of different elements that are chemically combined? A. Chemical formula B. Compound C. Element D. Mixture Number 3. Which of the following is a property of an element? A. Pure chemical substance that is made of the same type of atom. B. Composed of two or more types of atoms. C. Can be separated through a chemical process. D. Composed of two or more types of substances. Which of the following is not an element based on the given set of properties in our lesson? A. Helium gas B. Hydrogen C. Ice D. Iron Number 5 Which of the following is not a property of a compound? A. Pure chemical substance made of the same type of atom B. Composed of two or more types of atoms C. Can be separated through chemical process D. Composed of two or more types of substances How's the assessment? Now, let's check your answers. Number 1. Which of the following substance composed of one type of atom? I hope that you got it right because the correct answer is letter C. Element. Number 2. Which of the following substance composed of atoms of different elements that are chemically combined? Compounds are composed of atoms of different elements 
that are chemically combined? And the answer is letter B. Number 3. Which of the following is a property of an element? Elements are pure chemical substance made of the same type of atom. Correct answer is letter A. Number 4. Which of the following is not an element based on the given set of properties in our lesson? You got it right! The correct answer is letter C, ice. Number 5. Which of the following is not a property of a compound? All are properties of a compound except for letter A. It does not describe a property of a compound. Oh, it's science fact time with Mamcon. Did you know that planet Mars is red because of iron oxide? Yes, Mars is covered in a lot of iron oxide. These are the same compounds that give the blood and the rust their distinct colors. Mars, which occasionally appears as a bright red, was named after the Greek god of war. Did you have your boarding pass in the future Mars mission organized by NASA? Like this! Hope to visit and see Mars soon. Well, that's the short science fact with Mom Con. Now, in preparation for the next episode, look for a food product label of soy sauce. Like what you see on your screen. Paste the food product label on a separate sheet of paper. Group the elements and compounds listed on the food product label. This time, Let's be connected on one of our question center on Sci Connected on DepEd TV page. Our center is Jella, 15 years old from Lawang Bato National High School, Schools Division of Valenzuela City. Her question is, why we experience volcanic eruptions? We experience volcanic eruption when the molten rock known as magma that is formed when Earth's mantle melts, rises to the surface. Volcanoes erupt because of the pressure and density. Volcanoes spew hot, dangerous gases, lava, ash, and rocks that are destructive. Volcanic eruptions may result to floods, mudslides, wildfires, and it is also a threat on our health. Thank you so much for your question, Jella. Hope that everyone gained additional information from it. If you have questions, simply post it on Sci Connected on DepEd TV page. Kindly follow this format. Keep in mind that elements and compounds differ in characteristics and properties. These are the substances essential for living. This can be found anywhere, like the food that we eat. Examples are vegetables rich in minerals that are important for our nutrition. Another is the air that we breathe in and out. Can you live without these elements and compounds? Definitely not. So, this is all for today. Hope that you have learned new lessons. Thank you so much for sticking with me and see you again on the next episode. This is Mam Maricon, scientifically saying, think critically, do things differently, and that develops your ability.